In this video, I am going to explain epicyclic gate train problems. Now, let us first see the problem. In an epicyclic gate train, the internal wheels A and B and compound wheels C and D rotate independently about axis O. The wheels E and F rotate on pins fixed to the arm G. E gears with A and C and F gears with B and D. All the wheels have the same module and the number of teeth are DC is equal to 28, TD is equal to 26, TE is equal to TF is equal to 18. Take the arrangement. Find the number of teeth on A and B. If the arm G makes 120 RPM clockwise, and A is fixed, find the speed of gear will B. And fourth bit is if the arm G makes 110 rpm clockwise and wheel A makes 15 rpm counterclockwise, find the speed of wheel B. So thoroughly read this problem. And here in this problem, the diagram is not given. By, uh, with the help of the description, we need to draw the diagram. That is the first bit. Catch the arrangement. We need to draw the arrangement. According to this, here once again you can go through this problem. There is a, a and B are annular wheels, that is internal gear teeth A and B. And uh, C and D are compound gear wheels. C and D are compound gear wheels. So these four gear wheels rotate about an axis O, that is the center. That we can understand. Then Wheels E and F. Wheels E and F rotate on pins fixed to the arm G. So there is one arm you can take and, and the arm E and F are rotated about a pins. Next, the E gears with A and C and F gears with B and D. Now you can see that you can understand clearly E gear. The E gear E gears with A and C. A is the annular wheel and C is the compound wheel. And F gears with B and D. B is the annular wheel, D is the compound wheel. So all the wheels have the same module and number of teeth or some of the uh, teeth are given. Now he is asking, first bit is asking to draw the diagram. Second bit to determine the number of teeth of the gear wheel A and B. And the third one is if the arm G makes 120 RPM clockwise, and A is fixed, find the speed of the B. And the fourth bit, if the arm G makes 110 RPM clockwise and wheel A makes 15 RPM counterclockwise, find the speed of the wheel B. First of all, draw the diagram. So with the given information, draw the diagram. Now let us, uh, first we have to note down this given data from the thorough, uh, gone through the problem, just write down the given data. The number of teeth of gear C is 28. Number of teeth of gear D is 26. Number of teeth of gear E and F are given 18. And mentioned all wheels have same module. This is the data is given. What you are going to find out? It's the arrangement. And they determine number of teeth on A and B. If the arm G makes 120 RPM clockwise and A is fixed, to find the speed of B. If the arm G makes 110 RPM clockwise and wheel A makes 15 RPM counterclockwise, find the speed of wheel B. Next solution. So this problem may be solved by using the tabular method. Now first we sketch of the given epicyclic gate train. So the, the, the epicyclic gate train is given a gear A and B are uh, annular wheels and C, D and compound wheels. All four are uh, having the same axis at O. Now let us look at this diagram. You can see that uh, so the gear wheel A and gear wheel B, these two are the annular wheels and uh, in the gear wheel C and D, these two are the compound wheels and these four wheels are mounted at this point O. Now the E is meshing with A and uh, C and F is meshing with B and D. Okay. Now this is the arrangement of uh, A trines. Now this G is acting as an arm. Okay. Now G is acting as an arm and the gear E and gear F are uh, pinned at this end one pin and this end another pin. Now the arm is rotating about this O. Okay. Now we can determine the number of teeth on A and B. Second bit is asking to determine the number of teeth on A and B. From the geometry, 
you can know that diameter of the gear wheel A is equal to diameter of the gear wheel C plus 2 times the diameter of the gear wheel E. So from the geometry, we can find out this DA is equal to DC plus 2 DE. Similarly, DB is equal to DD plus 2 DF. And for the same module, the number of teeth are proportional to their pit circle diameters. So they have to uh, diameters DA is almost equal to TA. So now we can substitute TA is equal to TC plus 2 TE. And substitute the given uh, number of teeth for TC and TE, you can obtain the number of teeth for TA that is obtained 64. Similarly, for TB is equal to TD plus 2 TF. So TB is equal to 62 number of teeth. Now all gear teeth are known. So if power bit, if the arm G makes 120 rpm clockwise and A is fixed, the speed of B to be determined by using the tabular method. So NG is equal to minus 120 rpm because it is clockwise and NA is equal to 0. Okay. Now we need to find out the speed of the B so that will be obtained after completion of the tabular. Now let us see that tabular form, tabular method. First draw the table. First column is step number. Second column is condition of motion. And remaining columns are uh, speed of gears or elements, revolution of elements, arm G, gear A, gear E, compound gear C and D, gear F and gear B. Now let us see the first step. So arm fixed and wheel A rotates through plus 1 revolution. That we are assuming that arm is fixed and wheel A rotates through plus 1 revolution. According to the condition motion, you have to determine the speeds of the all the elements. Arm G is 0, arm A is plus 1 and arm E. So that is uh, uh, E and A are uh, meshing okay, and both are uh, internal meshing. So the same direction, it is a positive TA by TE. Now the compound will CD that is uh, also the minus TA by TC. So both are uh, um, because that gear E and the gear C are uh, um, external teeth and they are rotating in opposite direction, so minus TA by TC. And uh, gear wheel F that is uh, uh, obtained plus TA by TC into TD by TF. And gear wheel F is obtained TA by TC into TD by TV. How these values are obtained? We know that uh, speed of the follower by speed of the uh, driving wheel is equal to number of teeth of the driving wheels by number of teeth of the driven wheels. Using that formula, we can obtain uh, this equation. Next step number two. So, if those who are not understand how you are going to find out, just you have to watch my video, the gate trains video. In that, I clearly mentioned uh, um, the speeds of. Uh, um, that the train value, speed ratio, how velocity ratio, how we are going to find out for compound gear wheels, you can clearly understand. Next, go to the second condition. Arm fixed wheel A rotates through plus X revolution. Now, you can multiply X with all the above elements, you can obtain the answers. So, 0 plus X, TA by TE into X, minus TA by TC into X, TA by TC into TD by TF into X, TA by TC into TD by TV into X. So, we have multiplied X with all the elements. That is the second. Only thing in this tabular form is only we have to frame more. the first row is very important. The second and third is almost equal. Second is only for multiplying X and third is add plus Y revolution to all elements. Add plus Y revolution to all the elements. That is Y, X plus Y, Y plus TA by TE into X y minus ta by tc into x, y plus ta by tc into td by tf into x and y plus ta by tc into td by tb into x. Now the last row is gives the speeds of all the elements. So what is the speed of the arm g? y. What is the speed of the gear wheel a? x plus y. What is the speed of gear wheel e? y plus ta by te into x. What is the speed of the compound wheel c and d? y minus ta by tc into x. And what is the speed of the gear wheel F? Y plus TA by TC into TD by TF into X. And what is the speed of the gear wheel B? Y plus TA by TC into TD by TV into X. 
now number of states is known only unknown here it is x and y now we are going to find out the x and y with applying the given conditions so apply the given conditions and determine x and y the speed of the arm g is given minus 120 rpm and speed of the gear a is fixed that is zero therefore n a is equal to x plus y is equal to zero and from this you can find out the x is equal to minus y and that is equal to minus of minus that plus 120 x is equal to 120 now from the table speed of the gear will be is nb is equal to y plus ta by tc into td by tb into x now you can substitute all the values x y and number of teeth then you can obtain the speed of the gear will be that you can see that you can substitute all the data you can obtain the speed of the gear will be is minus 4.9 rpm so minus means it's in clockwise direction so direction of the gear b is a clockwise direction next go to the fourth one Apply the given conditions and determine x and y in fourth case. Speed of the arm G is minus 120 rpm and speed of the gear A is 15 rpm is given here. So therefore, N A is equal to x plus y is equal to 15. 15 means it's counterclockwise direction, positive direction. Okay. Now from that you can find out the x value. X is equal to 15 minus y minus is uh, minus y is minus 120 minus minus plus. So 15 plus 120, 135. So from the table speed of the gear v is uh, that equation you can again you can use y plus ta by tc into td by tv into x now substitute all the data you can obtain speed of the gear will be that is a uh, 9.4 rp positive means it's a counterclockwise direction so the direction of the gear b is a uh, anti-clockwise or counterclockwise direction so, so this is a simple way once you have to uh, complete the tabular form then you can find out the whatever the speeds of the elements all the elements we can easily determine by using these uh, i hope everyone can understand how we can solve this problem